this little guy could be the size of that larger male in eight to 10 months from now. In 2022, a critically important species of sea urchin that grazed seaweeds and algae was killed off by a deadly parasite, leaving the reef in serious trouble. When we don't have enough herbivores on the reef eating the algae as it's growing, it can get out of hand. It can get overgrown and it can absolutely smother corals or, or even engage in kind of chemical warfare with corals and cause disease and, and other things that really are a problem. With most of the urchin population wiped out, Jason and a team of researchers are hoping that another grazing animal can step up and take over the urchin's role. This is the Caribbean king crab. This is a very large male. They're phenomenal herbivores. They, they eat algae and they eat algae that other stuff won't, more algae than most of the urchins in the region as well. So could these crabs be the answer? In field tests, we increase the density of these crabs by about a million fold from one per square kilometer to one per square meter on these small test reefs. And over the course of one year, they grazed the algae down by about 85%. But the number of crabs needed to make a real impact is mind boggling. Just to meet the needs for seven of the reefs that we're working on, we're going to need to produce 2.8 million crabs. To create such an enormous army of algae eaters, Jason has set up a huge crab breeding facility. Here's a little baby right here. You can see him on my finger now. This little guy could be the size of that larger male in eight to 10 months from now. Today, Jason is diving to check on his expectant mothers. These dark red eggs, they're about halfway through. So she's probably a week and a half in or a week and a half out from, from hatching. By carefully nurturing the mums and babies, Jason and the team aim to produce 250,000 juvenile crabs a year to release onto Florida's reef and increase the population density by a million fold. It might seem like a crazy strategy, but Jason believes the risks are low. First, they're native species. They naturally occur throughout the entire region. And all we're doing is increasing their density to fill this functional void on the reefs. By closely monitoring the crabs and their effects on the reef, Jason can detect any adverse effects. But ultimately, more crabs means more food for their predators, like groupers, snappers, and octopus.